one by two is done, bro. I went in here and I added a one pill driver for you. Made it so you could drive it a little bit harder. But she's all done up. New variable, I added a logo to the front of the box as your request. We're all set. Let's do a quick little bench test for you, brother, and we'll get your boxed up and shipped out of here. We're gonna use a 100 watt slug. We're gonna use it in a 5X position in PEP, so this is reading as a 500 watt scale. We're gonna look at that middle scale, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 1,000 watt slug in Ford and average. Five watt slug in reverse. Five watt slug in reverse between it and the 955. And a Galaxy 66 with the Siltronics in reverse in a five watt setting. Pretty simple, we're on 14 volts. Let's go ahead and key the 66 up here. Let's pull up a nice 200 watt carrier there. Hello, audio. 450 and some change. Hello, audio. And look, Chris. With a two watt dead key, as you got your radio set up right now, gets you a 300 watt carrier. Hello, audio. Swinging about 490. Hello, audio. Here's your input tune. Hello, which is beautiful. Can't key it that high. Don't want to do it. So we'll back your variable down a little bit. So you're keying about 150 watts or so. Right about there. Hello, audio. Now, Chris, you told me that you're planning on doing some upgrades to your uh, to your radio. And you're gonna put a little bit more drive into this box. So what we'll do is we'll go the other direction with it. I'm gonna show you that it can be done. And we're not gonna touch the variable at all. We're not gonna touch any of the other meter movements. We're gonna go to the 955. So I'm gonna grab the 955 mic up here. Hello in the Kona. Without changing anything and putting a little bit more drive into the box. Hello in the Kona. Now a one watt dead key is what this 955 puts out. It gets you a 20 watt carrier. Turn the variable up. See, one watt dead key is about 250 watts. Hello. 500 watts in the corner. So back the variable down to here. Watt carrier. Hello in the corner. Audio. She's working just the way she should, Chris. You're all set. I'm gonna put the tin on it. We'll send it out the door to you. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to build this up for you. And it's got a 2870 or 2290 driving two 2879s. Also, want to change your output cap. The output cap on this had gone bad, and that usually shows up from being either too hot, over volted or just bad components. Well, I think it got too hot. Anywho, she's done. My name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Come check us out, www.bbiamps.com. I'll see you.